How to keep inventory. As a Rudy Bun, you have many products to gather from the warehouse and sell to households in different villages. Many times a household will request for an item that you might not have and you can lose money when you do not have those products. Sometimes you might have many of the same products but it is not selling well. That extra product takes up space and energy and takes away from what you could be selling. How can you better understand which products to sell and how much of it you have? Keeping inventory of your products is a great way to keep track of which products you sell the most and least and if you need to order more or less of a product. Large companies keep inventory using computers and a lot of manpower. However, you are in charge of your own stock. You can keep track of what you distribute very easily with only a pen and paper and it costs nothing to do. After a few months of keeping inventory, you will also be able to see trends in your sales record so that you can better predict what your customers will want and when. In order to start keeping inventory, you will need a pen and two notebooks. In one notebook, you can keep track of the products that you have. When you receive products from the warehouse, Write the product's name and how many you have. If you cannot write the name of the product, draw a picture or use identifying marks so that you can understand what it is when you come back to it later. At the end of each working day, you can subtract the number of different products you sold from the beginning number. That is your new inventory. When inventory becomes low, you will know when to order, and depending on how long it takes to deplete, how much to order. In the second notebook, you can keep track of what each household buys. This allows you to know how much each family is spending on products, how much they are buying, and when they buy certain products. At the end of each day, you can add up how many products each household buys and subtract those numbers from the total starting inventory in your first book. After a few months, you will start to know what the buying trends of each family are so that you can better predict what they will want to buy next time. In this module, you learned how to keep inventory of your supplies in order to sell more of the right product to the right households. You should keep two notebooks. One notebook is to keep track of products that you have. The second notebook is to track what each household buys. Knowing this information can help you predict when to buy certain products and how many to buy so that you can better service the households that you visit.